Hey, what's up everybody? Clayton here with Go Analytics, and today we have a brand new video for you, how to dynamically replace just part of a string in Power Query. So let's get started. Hey, welcome to our YouTube channel. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications to stay up to date on all of our latest videos. All right, so today's video comes from a, a comment that we received on YouTube from Hamza Motali. He asks, how can you dynamically replace only part of a string in Power Query? So let's head on over to my laptop and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so here we are in Power Query and here's the scenario. So we have this uh, product um, and we have a bunch of product codes here they are standardized but uh, the process to getting this data is a manual entry process and uh, some of the the data that's in here has been incorrectly uh, categorized uh, as i can show here uh, this is where the data is coming from so all these uh, products uh, that end in old should have ended in new uh, all these SKUs that we have here that are ending in x should have ended in a Y uh, and we have these items that uh, the last three digits uh, that say DEF they should say ABC so how can we replace these values uh, and it's just that the last three digits really that we need to replace so how can we replace dynamically those three values so let's get back to Power Query here and uh, we can get started on uh, a solution here so the solution is going to involve using the table dot transform columns function so i'm going to actually uh, open up uh, advanced editor here and we're going to code this together so right after our last step here i'm going to put a comma and uh, we'll call this uh, uh, partial replacement. I will put the equal sign here, and so we'll do a table dot transform columns, and open up brackets. And if you uh, recall, we have to call this last step. So I'll put that in there. And I'm gonna start a new line here just to make it easier for us to see. All right, so here we have it. Uh, so now how can we replace uh, those values? So we are going to start by opening up a curly bracket here. And um, uh, another set. And we'll call on our column here, which is uh, product code. And then we can, and then we can say each if text.contain so we're going to use the text.contains function and we'll pass a lambda function here for the um, for that column for the the specific row within that column and we're going to say if it's uh, and dash old then then uh, we're going to replace it. So we'll use text.replace and we'll pass our old text, so our dash old, that's what we want to replace. And the new text is going to be that new. So this, uh, what this does is it searches if that um, the current value within that uh, row contains this string 
then it's going to replace this with the new and we can take this code and replicate it for the other two conditions so I can take this and just replace this each with an else else if so if it contains X then we will replace that X with a Y and uh, I'll take this one here again for our last condition so if it contains uh, DEF then we're going to replace DEF with ABC and then we need our final condition in here our else so if none of that is true so if it doesn't contain uh, this value this value or this value then we're just going to re return the current um, value in that row so we can change the uh, the last argument here the last uh, part of the our code here to be the last um, step that we created and now we can see that all of our NEW or all of our OLD has been replaced with NEW all of our X's have re been replaced with Y and all of our DEF uh, rows have been replaced with ABC so that's it that's all you have to do to replace part of a string in Power Query all in one step so it's a it's a really cool uh, trick and I hope you're gonna get lots of use of it remember if you like this video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future videos that we publish we'll see you in the next video